Probably 90% of my work takes place in Indiana, or specifically Indianapolis. One of the reasons for that is I was, uh, I was, I was six years old when I moved from London, England to Franklin, Indiana, okay? And that transition is still very, very vivid in my head, uh, you know, some 40 plus years later. It's like, I do remember that transition. That was a hard transition. Um, but Indiana's where my dad's and my dad's family is from, which means it's where I'm from. It, my origins are here, my roots are here. And the more I investigate that, the more it is, I'm, I'm uncovering bits about my identity, whether or not I realize it or not, because Indiana leaves its imprint on, on who we are as, as we live here. So I teach a world building class. And, uh, and world building is just a fancy way of, of saying setting. So what is it about your setting? How do you create the setting for the story you want to tell? And so one of the things I say about the setting is your setting is its own character. And, and so for me, Indianapolis is me coming back to interrogate this fascinating character this fascinating character with a long storied history, a lot of secrets to its history also. Uh, and so half the time I feel like some of my stories is just an excuse for me to ferret out a new secret about Indianapolis and, and look at it from a new angle. It's interrogating this character that the more I get to know it, the more I get to love it, and the deeper I get to explore it. And that's just something I, I haven't tired of it uh, because like I said, there's new things I uncover all the time. I'm like, I never knew that about Indianapolis. All right, let's go.